do for students questions is I tell students since there's no like you can't inbox and just directly with the teacher. Um, not that I know of unless there's a new update or something. Um, I have my students just click the add button um, and then they don't see this. They would see this once they click add button. And then I tell my kids to take a video of themselves and just say, you know, Miss Horton, I didn't know how to do the math activity today. Can you help me? Or I started off by teaching my kids by saying, just ask Miss Horton any question you want. And that's how I had trained them to use this feature. Um, some of the upper elementary, you could even have them, you know, write a note. Um, some of my primary kids can do that too, but I just let you can let them choose if you want. But I tried, I taught my kids just to do the video because it's the easiest. So that's just a quick little um, way to have that communication. And what I do is when they post it to the journal, I will comment underneath theirs and, and say, you know, I try to answer their question. And if I, if I need to like show them, I might um, insert a link to a screencast that I took showing them on my screen how to complete something. Um, and that's been really helpful. I actually, um, I didn't pull up, but I do think I had an example on one of my kids. I had sent, uh, I sent it back to them and I just sent the link of how to complete it. I don't have it right in front of me, but um, so that's how I have kids to ask questions. I do have two examples I was gonna share with you guys um, just to kind of show you what I had my kids do. Uh, this is one of my former students and looking at little kids primary age are always fun anyways So I'll just share this with you guys real fast. Um, tomorrow, can you please, um, in the morning meeting, can you please, um, can you please show us your dogs? So that was just something, that was when we were practicing and I also left it as a mode of communication and relationship building with my students as well. So they could come in there, ask me something like that, you know. Um, and then we could discuss it later, um, either in our meeting or I could comment below. So I have another student example in there as well, if you want to see that. But um, that's one way that I found was really effective of addressing questions with students so that the students were more in charge of their learning opposed to their parents, especially in the setting. 